Hello and welcome back to my channel. On today's episode of Organize My Life, we are tackling our pantry. Now, our apartment doesn't have a pantry. And I know you're probably thinking, Kristen, how are you gonna organize a pantry if you don't have one? Let me tell you. What this apartment does have is a coat closet. So we decided that for the functionality of our space, that we would turn our coat closet into our pantry. Now, when we first moved in, we had to make use of what we had. So we put some extra shelving pieces that we had that didn't go anywhere else in our apartment, and we used those to keep our food for the time being. Well, we quickly realized that the functionality of that was not gonna work. It was really hard to get things in and out, and we ended up with piles of food on our countertops while we were waiting to reorganize the system every time we went grocery shopping. Now, instead of going to Ikea or Target, Walmart, any of those places and getting prefab shelves, which would probably have ended us in the same situation, we decided to go for custom shelving. And the reason that we were able to do this is because my dad is a woodworker. He has been doing it for a long time. He has built cabinets and shelves and you name it, he has done it. So I went to him with my plan doing custom shelves in our closet to turn it into a pantry and he was on board. So we picked up two sheets of three quarter inch sanded plywood to complete this project. If you are interested in the materials that we used, I'm gonna go ahead and link them below if you wanna check them out. My dad and I were able to make all of the shelves for this pantry with those two sheets of plywood. Should we put it in second? How are you gonna get this one in? It goes mm. behind it. You know what we should have done? What? We should have made that centerpiece into two pieces. From there to there. And then make this one foot. Oh my gosh, you guys. That was so tricky. Getting these things in. We built them a little too perfectly to size and it was a hassle getting these in, but they're in, they're in. They are amazing. They are perfect. They wrap around. You can still walk into the pantry, which is awesome. Off camera, I put in some lights up at the top of the pantry door that are motion detectors. So as soon as we open the door, the lights turn on and that'll be really helpful for functionality. Since this wasn't a pantry before, there were no lights in this closet. So it was really hard to see inside when we opened the door to try to get anything out. But now that the shelves are in, it is time for my favorite part, stocking and organizing this pantry. So as you can see, I've already put some stuff up here. It's kind of the unexciting part. I've got my stand mixer attachments up in this corner. I've got my instant pot, like steam racks here. We've got paper towels. And then over on the other side, we have like my entertainment section. So we've got serving bowls and serving platters and just kind of things that go along with that. So I'm gonna get started with the top, my counter space for this pantry. And on this space is going to house my Instant Pot, my Soda Stream, my Stand Mixer, as well as the most frequently accessed items for our dog. Thank you. 
and I got this shelf at Target so that way I could put the bowl with our potatoes and onions and garlic on top and then underneath I could tuck in a container with our packaged snacks like popcorn and these fig bars. All right, so now that we've got the top part of the shelves sorted, I'm gonna go ahead and move to the left side of the pantry. So this side of the pantry is going to be where we keep all of our snacks. On this first shelf is going to be all of our box snacks, like our Ritz crackers, graham crackers, pretty much our cracker shelf. Since we kind of have some dead space on these shelves, I'm gonna go ahead and use that area to keep some unopened bags of chips. And then on the second shelf in this first basket, I am keeping all of our bags of chips. On the bottom shelf in that dead space, I'm keeping some plastic cups. We don't use them very often, but I know that they're there in case we do need to use them. In this second basket on the bottom shelf, I'm keeping all of our other snacks like pretzels, any peanuts or nuts that we get, these cheese wisps, and any other sort of bagged snacks. So on the right side of the pantry, I'm gonna designate this top shelf to our dogs, treats, and snacks. We get into this stuff daily, so I want it to be easy to access and not tucked away on a bottom shelf. So I'm starting off with this clear container that houses all of her less used items. So her wet food and some containers of dog food for when we travel with her. And then we have all of her more frequently used treats and stuff in this basket to keep it all contained and easy for us to pull out and access. And then below that, I am starting my baking section. So I got these plastic containers off of Amazon. And what I like about them is that they're food safe, they're airtight, and they were nice and skinny, so that way I could fit them on this shelf easily. And then on the bottom shelf, what I'm putting here is kind of the extra baking supplies. In the dead zone in the back, I'm putting my food coloring. And then I'm gonna put the container of powdered sugar. And next to that, I'm putting this clear bin. This is gonna hold my baking powder, vanilla, and other baking items such as piping bags. Hey, I just wanna pop in real quick and say that if you are finding this video helpful, a quick click on the like and subscribe button down below would mean so much to me and help me know that I am creating useful content for all of you. Let's get back to the video. So now we're on to the middle section of this pantry. Now this section is very important because it is the section that's directly in front of you when you open the pantry. And the items that are gonna be in here are a little bit more broad in the category. So like we had all of our snacks together and that works because we get into those just kind of randomly. But in this section in the middle, on the top shelf here is kind of the breakfast zone. So I have my three containers of cereal. We usually only have about three types of cereal at one time. And on the other side of the shelf, I'm putting our bread basket. And then in the middle, I'm using that leftover space to put our jars of peanut butter. We love peanut butter around here. And then the middle shelf of this section, I am calling it my staple shelf. This shelf is holding all of the items that I use for cooking dinner or basically any recipe that I put together. So this has things like rice and oatmeal, almond flour, um, our spaghetti, pretty much all the ingredients to cook all of the recipes that I make. I got all of these containers at Target back when we were living with my father-in-law. And I got these because at his home, our pantry and food storage was open shelving. So I wanted it to all look cohesive and really pretty. And now what I like is that it's right in this middle section. So when I open the door, I have this really beautifully organized section in the middle of the pantry. 
And then on the bottom shelf, the bottom shelf is kind of an extension of that middle shelf. So on one side of that bottom shelf, I have my stadium shelving and that keeps all of my canned goods, hot sauces that don't need to be refrigerated and any items like that. And on the other side of the shelf, I have another one of those risers from Target. Because there's so much space between these shelves, I am able to put that in here to maximize our storage. So on top, I am putting some ingredients that are still in their package, like salt, cornstarch, things like that. And then underneath that, I am tucking this bin that keeps the remainder of packaged goods that didn't fit in their containers. And then in the middle, I have a jar from Ikea that keeps our croutons. And behind that, I tucked this container of the fried onion pieces. I don't have a jar for it, but it's fine tucked back there just like that. And we are fully stocked and organized. Guys, I am so excited for this project to be done. It has made our life so much easier to have this pantry the way that it is now. I wanted to reiterate a couple of tips for organizing your pantry or really any space in your home. The first one is to use baskets and bins to keep like things together. It's always helpful to have these things contained so that way they're not just loose on shelves because that is what makes spaces look cluttered. Another tip I have is to use risers to maximize storage space. If you have a large distance between shelves, add risers to maximize the use of the space that you have. And lastly, use containers to decant items. This doesn't have to be done for everything and you don't have to spend a crazy amount of money doing this. It helps you to not overbuy items because you can see what you have and what you don't but it also creates a cohesive look so that way any space that you are organizing looks cleaner to the eye and is gonna look less cluttered. And one last thing before I go, if you're interested in the labels that I used in my pantry organization, I'm gonna leave a link to the template down below as a free resource for you for your pantry organization. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you back here next week when I tackle the next space in our apartment. Bye guys.